Well, it turns out the water pump in my <clears throat> 2007 6 7 Cummings ram went out or was going out. I had a little bit of a coolant leak. So I talked to a mechanic buddy of mine. He said it's pretty easy to change out. It's just two bolts. Um, you kind of pull the shroud out, uh, the fan shroud, and then the air filter. So pull out the air filter box that was sitting right here. And you can get right back up into here and access all this. I pulled the shroud back, the fan cover, and I was able, with just taking all this out and loosening up the belt, I was able to get the old water pump out. Well, hopefully the new one goes back in as easy. I did drain the radiator, but <clears throat> it came out in that little space. So you didn't have to take the fan out. You didn't have to take the shroud all the way out. Um, of course, I've got smaller hands. I'm not a big guy, so that might help me out a little bit, but we'll see how this new one goes in and hopefully it works out. So I'll um, show you the old one right here. So I had to kind of twist it to get it out through this space, kind of twist out underneath the alternator and around that coolant pipe. And that's how it came out. So since I only have me here, I don't know if I'll be able to show you putting in the other one, but I need to clean that up a little bit anyways. So we got the new one here from Napa. So we'll see how this works. Let's see if I can reverse engineer this. Later. Let's see. Delicate little dance getting it through there. You gotta be careful to keep that seal on and not get that nicked up and damaged. I just gotta get the bolts on. So far, so good. Get one in. started. They were falling down in between a couple of the pulleys. So I had to pull this back out and fish it out. So now he's got to run the belt back through. This right here made it real easy. I took the belt off the tensioner pulley at the bottom. 
so I can just fish this stuff up through up here. Let's sneak it down through here. Get it up over the alternator. Once I get that knife off of the pulley at the bottom. Of course, nothing wants to stay, you know, where I put it. So I have to play with that a little bit more so I can get it. So it just naturally kind of falls onto there. All right, now I'll just take my spacer out here. Put the lines back on. There, I pulled off. Definitely don't want to forget the coolant line. Going back onto the overflow. And we got everything up here pretty well ready to go. Just got to put these nuts back on and get the belt on the bottom tensioner. And then we can put this box back in. So when you pull this box right here, it just goes down into here like so. And the bottom of it is this little thing right here. So that just pops in and pops out. At first I thought there was a bolt holding it on and there was some kind of a wax substance melted down into there. I ended up pulling that out and uh, found out there's nothing there. So. Yeah. Just pop that off, 10 millimeter bolt on most of this stuff. Um, the fan shroud is 13 mil instead of 10. So that's the only, only other difference. Let's see how this thing goes back together. So the air filter box did not want to go back in uh, with that little rubber grommet dream back in. So it's a, no, actually it's pretty tight once you get everything buttoned down. But this bolt right here, that's the only thing really holding this thing in, aside from the top piece. So once this comes off, it's going to be a little bit on the floppy side. But, hey, it's in there. It works. All right. That pretty well wraps it up. Just tightening up the shroud nuts. Once I got that uh, air filter box off, I think the whole process took me 15 20 minutes. It was pretty straightforward and simple. I've been kind of clawing around before that. Once I came off, bolts came right out, and we we're done. So I don't really make mechanic videos, but I haven't seen any anybody else on uh, YouTube doing this. So this particular thing. So right here is the tensioner pulley, and right up there, the shroud did get in the way a little bit. I was able to just use a standard half inch socket or a ratchet rather to get up into there. And just no socket, just stick it up in there. And it's nice because then it's got the, uh, I don't know, well, this little deal right here. Can't even think of the name of it. Anyways, yeah, so hopefully that helps you out. Uh, you could do this on the side of the road with a basic tool set if you got it. Don't even need a, I mean, if you get it in there, a breaker bar would be handy. So you're not getting your hands up in there. One of the reasons I wear gloves. But anyways, have a good one. See you on the road. Happy hunting.